I really wanted to take my talents and do the most with it. I didn't want to be just behind the chair. I wanted to change people's lives. I wanted to educate. I wanted to write books and show people that you can do more with being a hairstylist than just working behind the chair. You have a lot going on. Like when I, I look at you, I basically think hair mogul. When you started off being a hairstylist, did you know you wanted to get into this aspect of you know reaching out to people on a larger level? Well, I actually started a hair blog, so confessionsofahairstylist.com, and then I started doing these easy hair tutorials, and originally it was just for my clients. That was about four, four and a half years ago. From there, the next avenue, I saw that YouTube was trending, so I started doing YouTube tutorials. Then Instagram, I wanted to push traffic to my YouTube and my hair blogs, and then after that, the books and my educational courses. You have to keep on grinding. It's not overnight success whatsoever. I mean, it takes a long time. You have to be consistent and really get out there. You actually told me that braids was something that was like difficult for you. Oh my like, God, like... I sucked at braids. I hated braids. Because of my blog and YouTube, people were asking for braided tutorials. And so I had to really force myself into learning how to braid. I got a mannequin head and I just started braiding. And then from there, I just kept on practicing and now it's a newfound love. And that's why I'm so passionate about uh, educating about braids because it was one of my weaknesses and anyone can learn how to braid because I've done it myself. Most of us know your one child, Magnolia. Yeah. Uh, because of she's blowing up. Totally. Confessions of a mini hairstylist. Yeah, so funny. You know, how did, how did that happen? It happened so organically. So one day when I had uh, my mannequin head, I was practicing some hairstyles for my new educational seminars, and she was like, oh, I wanna try. And I looked over and I was like, holy cow, that looks really cool. And then I put on my social media and it completely went viral. Next thing I knew, Ellen was calling, Today Show is calling. It's crazy to see her take off, and she's five years old, so, I mean, she shares the same passion as me, which is really cool as a mother to see. I knew that you did color, but you weren't really sharing that as much with the world as you are now. Well, I think just with the trends, you know, color is so popular right now, and I just wanted to show people that I'm well-rounded, that I actually know how to color. I always like to kind of get out of my comfort zone, so I've been really pushing hard on doing some fun color as well. Well, working with B3 and doing the kind of colors that you do, has it changed the way that you look at things? Well, I feel like it's made a huge difference because it really allows me to push boundaries. You know, if someone wants really light hair, I can do it with confidence knowing that it's not going to break off or it's not going to be damaged. And my clients love it too because they love knowing that their hair is going to be on point. A new B3 Demi Permanent Conditioner. How is that product working for you? How are you liking it in the salon? Oh, I love it. I feel like, um, you know, it definitely helps me with styling. It really helps smooth the cuticle down, and then I can rough it up if I need to with the texturizer. Um, but the great thing about it, it still reflects a lot of shine. So it's been really key. You just have to go for it. Surround yourself with positive role models, positive people. I have been so fortunate. Some of my greatest mentors really nurtured me and that really helped me out a lot. I think there's a like whole new movement in the hair industry right now. Like the more you share, the more you get back in return. Oh, and it's absolutely. Just, yeah. And I actually grow and learn as a person. Like it pushes me to be better. So ultimately it's doing me a favor.